that's enough of that. <laughs> Welcome to the Cracker Crumbs update. And as you can tell, we're still alive. Worst apocalypse ever. <laughs> oh man, what a joke. The Mayans predicted that it was the end of the world just because they ran out of calendar space. All I can say is, uh, where was their prediction prediction on the end of the Twinkies? Yeah, where were we on that one, Mayans? Didn't see how I'm coming, did you? Uh, anyway, I have a comp call, which is kind of good. I guess I got my stuff at the end of the world anyway. Um, I picked this up from my fiance on eBay. Uh, I tried to get one that was signed, which uh, was in my price range, and I was like, oh, cool, you know, I'm in, and I'm sitting there and I'm waiting and waiting because, you know, the days, you know, they count down, had them on there for a while, and uh, it was only like three bucks for this particular issue signed by Robert Kirkman and uh, a couple other people, I think Andrew Lincoln, stuff like that. Um, I was like, oh, not bad. So, you know, I put five bucks in and I was the lead thing. And then the last second, uh, well, last 10 seconds, I go on there and it didn't go. And then all of a sudden it jacked up to 150 bucks. I'm like, no. But I found one uh, for cover price and uh, it was only like two bucks shipping. So it wasn't that bad. It's the Walking Dead number 100 variant, which is pretty cool. So this is my for my fiance. It's another... Um, uh, gift for for the holidays. Uh, I got her, I shown before, Walking Dead number 104, I think it was. So now she's got 100, which I believe this is the death of Glenn in here. Who knows? It's it's for her. She'll enjoy it. Hopefully. And I got my Midtown haul, which I unboxed the box, but I didn't do the, uh, the bag here, so it's kind of an unboxing. But let's see what we got here. I got one back issue that was a uh, a quarter, which uh, they didn't even bag and board at the bastards. But what the hell? Uh, Extreme X Men number one it was only a quarter. It's a near mint. A little pissed they didn't put it in the bag and the board, but what can I tell you? Um, cover, a couple other back issues that I had gotten. Uh, they were a quarter a piece, and uh, it's gonna fill in my uh, my collection. My Amazing Spider Man. Uh, Amazing Spider-Man number 176. It's in uh, good condition. Let's we'll take a look at it. Yeah, it's got a little crease going down the side, but yeah, what the hell? It was a quarter. Um, I think this is like the first appearance of the third Green Goblin, if I'm not mistaken. But anyway, what the hell? If, if worse comes to worse, I can always upgrade down the line if I if I want to go crazy. Um, another back issue I got that was only a quarter, which is Amazing Spider-Man number 244. Which it looks like it's got a little crease in the bottom, but that's about it. Fill in my collection. One quarter at a time. <laughs> Alright, now moving on to my the newer issues, I guess. Uh, a plus X number three. I'm enjoying these so far. It's pretty cool. Uh, all new X-Men number four. Been enjoying this as well. Uh, Avengers Arena number two. Kind of curious to see how this thing goes with Arcade apparently being some super-powered nutcase now. Uh, the Avengers number two. Cable and X-Force number two. And because I'm giving it the benefit of the doubt, Captain America number two. See how it goes. Um, these have been cr pretty good and pretty crazy lately. Uh, Daredevil number 21. Another one I wanted to see how it went. So, uh, FF number 2. Green Lantern number 15. Uh, the first one was really cool, so uh, I'm excited about this one. Indestructible Hulk number 2. Nightwing number 15, which is the Death in the Family tie in. Red Hood and the Outlaws number 15, another Death in the Family tie in. And a lot of people hated the first one. I kind of like the first one, and I'm interested to see how the second one goes. Thunderbolts number 2. 
Uncanny X-Force number 35, which is the final issue of it, until they have number one come out next month. And uh, last but not least, which I think this is a pretty cool cover, uh, it looks like they're trying to bring back the old school Venom. Venom number 28, where he's in Philadelphia. Um, that's pretty much it, but one other thing for this, this show, I almost totally forgot to mention it, which would have been real bad on my part. Um, I want to thank uh, my newest subscriber, which is Captain Strange Life. I really appreciate subscribing. Uh, it's very, very cool. Uh, you know you have arrived in this comic community when Captain Strange Life subscribes to you. So I really appreciate it. Check out his stuff. He's an awesome guy. He's got really, really awesome videos and one hell of a collection that I'm beyond jealous of. <laughs> Every time I watch his videos and I'm just like, oh, he's got all the good books. <laughs> so definitely check out his stuff. And um, I mentioned it before, but... Uh, I definitely, I think I got this uh, Hangout Live thing down pat, so soon Cracker Live will come to you. Yes! <laughs> anyway, uh, that shall do it. There um, really wasn't anything else I wanted to discuss. Uh, one cool thing I, I read that I probably everyone knows is that Hugh Jackman is definitely going to be in the days of future past X-Men. Oh yeah, old school, well not old school, old Wolverine. <laughs> Interesting indeed. Anyway, um... If you like what you see, please hit the little like button. If you really like what you see, hit the subscribe button. And, uh, again, it's not the size of your man cave that matters. It's what you have in it. Later.